PAC chairman, veteran Republican strategist, and a resident of the great state, or I should say the great commonwealth, should I not, of Virginia. Caught sure. myself. Uh, all right, Dave, uh, think about this. Uh, have we ever had a case where the former president was asked quite literally to stay away? Well, President Obama many times was asked to stay away. And given his track record of endorsing candidates, uh, you could understand why. I mean, think about Leland in 2020, uh, President Obama endorsed nine candidates in two one. Uh, if Republicans were smart, they'd buy a weekly ticket from Chicago to uh, to, D to Virginia uh, to get the former president. Uh, all that said, uh, the Dems continue to dip in their playbook, which is mention President Trump as much as possible, bring in President Biden and former President Obama in to plead with their uh, voters to come out and vote. Uh, but what we're seeing, and you referenced it in the, in the Fox News poll, and many polls uh, have similar findings, which is momentum is with the Yunkin campaign. Yeah, and momentum, no can momentum, both momentum is defining this race right now, and the, it's surging for Yunkin. He's peaking, uh, political operative terms, peaking at exactly the right moment here. Uh, what are we made to make of the get out the vote operation by both sides here? Both sides uh, have a pretty impressive operation. Uh, the key to think about, though, Leland, is we're almost over with early voting. It ends on Saturday. And then we go into Election Day voting and look at survey after survey. And Glenn Youngkin's winning almost 61 percent of Election Day voters. So it was going to the McAuliffe campaign has to bank a lot of votes in this early vote period and in this absentee vote period uh, to give him a, a best chance to win, because all indications are he is going to lose Election Day voters quite poorly or Youngkin's going to win them by large margins. What are we to make looking forward if Yunkin wins what it says about Republicans and what in the Republican Party direction and what it says if he loses? Republicans are ready to win. We've talked about it. Momentum is with the GOP. You ha and for the Democrats, uh, they're not getting out of President Biden what they elected him to do. They wanted a full out progressive agenda, which they're not getting. Well, and, let, and me, let, me, let me ask it a different way. If, if Youngkin loses as in not having fully embraced President Trump, which in, inarguably he has not, then the Republican Party goes full MAGA, right? If Youngkin wins having not fully embraced President Trump, that proves that you don't have to be MAGA to win, especially in a swing state, right? I think what it proves is candidates matter. And in this case, Youngkin has been out talking about issues that voters care about and capitalized on Terry McAuliffe's comment about not wanting parents to be involved in their school, their children's education. And that, if you look at the numbers, cuts across party lines as voters being against McAuliffe on that position. And as you referenced, uh, certainly he gets his share of money from the teachers union. So maybe that could influence why he uh, said what he did. But to tell a parent that they shouldn't get to be part of their children's education is about the most un-American thing you can think of. Yeah. And Youngkin has wisely capitalized on yeah, that. You, you, you have so, to think that's the one soundbite that Terry McAuliffe would just absolutely love to have back. And that's really when the polls switched. If we look at uh, line 28.1, the poll on education, it shows that how education has now gone to the very top of the list of what's important. We put it up, most important issue, education now 21%. Jobs is only 15%. And about that time you were referencing, we had this flip. Do you, who do you trust more on education? McAuliffe, I think, was down three. And now Yunkin's up one. That's from a week ago. Conceivably, could have uh, risen from there. Is that the playbook now for Republicans? And you do a lot of work down ballot. Is that what you're telling down ballot Republicans? Hey, start talking we, about education. We need to keep pushing the outrageous statements of Terry McAuliffe, whether it be education or whether it be some of the spending that he wants to do or the tax increases he's talking about. We need to keep reminding voters of that. And we need to talk about what we want to do, which uh, Youngkin, given his 
background is creating jobs, he has been out there doing it. So you talk about the two first issues being education and Youngkin. Uh, those are winning issues for uh, Youngkin right now. And, and as we get ready for election day, and analysts will talk about a lot of different factors as to how the night's going to go. Here's one for you. Watch down in Virginia Beach, Tanya Gould, who's running for the state house, a district that Republicans held for a long time. Democrats won it two, four years ago. If Tanya Gould's able to pull that off and put a column, a Democratic seat back in Republicans, it is going to be a historic night. Uh, it's the most politically competitive area of the Commonwealth. We're winning those yeah. districts. No, they you, can get, be you have to really think it all statewide. You got to believe that if Yunkin wins, and we'll look at this race that you just talked about, but if, certainly if Yunkin wins, it'll be the most, the biggest upset since President Trump's victory uh, in 2016. Uh, David Vella, always a great conversation. Thank you. And uh, the you. race that you talked about is the reason we have you. Smart analysis. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah. And because thanks for watching, click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.